Hi guys, welcome to week two of Like Me. So last week, Samson was able to lead on the topic of uh, comparison, which that is something that we deal with every single day, even myself as an adult. Um, so with this week on week two, um, I do wanna, you know, continue on that. Um, now, I know you guys have started school, or most of you guys have started school. Some may be going back to school physically, some may be doing it virtually. Um, whatever you are doing, I hope that you guys are staying safe during this time. Definitely, um, safety is important uh, during these times that we're going in um, right now. So, um, just to start off with week two, um, I do want to just tell a short story about um, comparison and how even at a young age, how that could be prevalent um, in most kids. So with me, I have a few stories about that. Uh, so I remember um, the main thing for me growing up, um, being black of course, having our hair associated with being nappy, and just seeing other kids that didn't look like me and had you know straight hair, curly hair, hair that I thought was perfect, or at least better than mine. So that's one of the main things that I struggled with, just always comparing myself or wishing that I had their hair or like hating my hair. And then as I got older, I started to realize that my hair is unique and that I can actually do a lot of cool things with it, by the way. So that was something that um, eventually I was able to grow out of. Um, and then another thing for me was I played sports in school. So seeing how other uh, parents were supportive and coming to the games and because my parents had to work, which wasn't a bad thing, but being young, I kind of uh, was jealous and you know compared myself to other kids because their parents was, were always there, always supportive of them um, during their sports games or track meets or what have you. Um, and you know, this is, these are just a few key examples, but this is something that we deal with every day. Um, Samson even talked about one of the main things that people use to compare themselves now and day, and it's social media, you, you guess right, it's social media. <laughs> And so when it comes to social media, um, you gotta be very careful because as he said, like people are literally presenting their best selves to social media. No one wants to admit, you know, that their life may not be going so great or that they may be going through something, but it's important to also remember that social media does not define you. The likes do not define you. Um, the comments do not define you. It's literally people showing highlights of the best parts of their lives. So definitely remember that, guys. Now, when it comes to um, being jealous of people, so that can come by, you may be agitated with someone, you may be agitated about what they have that maybe you don't have. Um, and then sometimes we just dislike people that never have done anything to us to hurt us or to harm us, but it's just a simple fact that we're jealous and you know we don't know how to express those emotions, which, you know, growing up as a kid, no one really teaches you that that's what it is and that it's comparison. But today, I'm gonna be, you know, expanding on that topic so you guys can learn more about it. Um, so whether you are jealous over something small or um, jealousy that does run deep, um, here is something that is true about this topic, is that jealousy does change the way that you see others. Um, and it changes the way that you see yourself. You know, you can feel so in insignificant, um, you know, when it comes to comparing yourself to other people or feeling like you're not worthy enough. But I do wanna uh, leave you guys with this verse, um, something that you guys should definitely always remember. And this is in Psalms 139, verse 13 through 14. So it says, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful and I know that full and well. That verse is, those verses are amazing because it shows that God loved you so much that he literally started creating you and forming you in your mother's womb. So that just goes to show how important you are and how unique and wonderfully made that you truly are. So when it comes to the um, comparison, if you've ever felt jealousy, you're definitely not alone. Um, everyone has experienced it, you know, sometime or another. 
in ancient times, there was a man named Saul and he was the first king over Israel. So that's pretty big, right? I bet a lot of people were jealous of him. So he was initially known as a good and generous king, courageous in battle. And generally he had the respect of his kingdom. People loved him. So at one point during his rule, he and his people, they found themselves in a very tough battle against a very powerful group of people known as the Philistines. So if you've ever heard of the story about David and Goliath, you kind of know what I'm talking about here. Now, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 1 and 3, we're going to hear more about the story with Saul and Goliath. Now, the Philistines gathered their forces for war and assembled at Soko in Judah. They pitched camp at Ephes Demim between Soko and Azekah. Saul and the Israelites assembled and camped in the valley of Elah and drew up their battle line to meet the Philistines. The Philistines occupied one hill and the Israelites another with the valley between them. So that's the perfect setup for a good old fashioned showdown. But the Philistines, they had a secret weapon up their sleeve. A champion named Goliath, who was from Gath, came out of the Philistine camp. His height was six cubits and a span, which is pretty tall, by the way. He had a bronze helmet on his head and wore a coat of scale armor of bronze, weighing 5,000 shekels. So that's pretty heavy. <laughs> so obviously this was a big guy and he was also a champion. He crushed people. So who would actually stand up to him? But that's when David actually stepped in. Saul heard about this and he sent for David. David said to Saul in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 32 and 33, David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Saul replied, you are not able to go against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man and he has been a warrior from his youth. Basically, Saul was telling David that he was crazy for even thinking about attempting to fight Goliath. But eventually, David talked him into it. So I'm not sure if you guys know the story here, but long story short, David was victorious in his pursuit against Goliath. Now every mission from there, Saul would always send David to do the mission for him. So David started getting the recognition Everybody started praising him and Saul himself became jealous. So I hope you guys were able to see how easily it is to start comparing yourself and to, you know, grow jealous of others. And David probably thought that he was helping Saul and, you know, doing him a favor. But of course we are human beings. And so Saul started to get jealous. And do you know that Saul actually plotted against David to have him killed, which is crazy, right? Because Saul is the one who recognized his skills and promoted him to the leadership position that he was in. I think the author of this proverb kind of gives us great insight into how jealousy can actually lead to destruction. So Proverbs 14 and 30 says, a heart at peace gives life to the body but envy rots the bones, rots the bones, guys. So that's a pretty big one there. And if we're not careful, we can definitely find ourselves in the same position as King Saul. So we need to think about this. We'll discover how jealousy of a friend that can destroy us, that can ruin us. Jealousy can destroy that friendship. Jealousy can cause us to start to doubt our own talents, achievements, the things that God has blessed ourselves with and placed inside of ourselves and jealousy can actually kill our sense of peace so that verse is definitely a great one now we will constantly encounter people who seem to have it all together or who seem to have a better life than we do better things better cars better clothes better shoes and if we aren't careful that gut feeling of jealousy that has the potential to not ruin our relationships with others, but also start to ruin how we feel about ourselves. So we all get it, jealousy hurts us, but what are we supposed to do about it? 
you can't just decide not to feel jealous about something, right? You have to feel those feelings. So when it comes to that, I wanna leave you guys with this. Think of it this way. The more you celebrate others, the more you start to like yourself. The more I celebrate others, the more I like me. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And some tips for you know not comparing yourself to others is one, think about how God made you unique. Think about how he literally knit you in your mother's womb. And if you can't think of anything off the top of your head, write some things down. Write some things down how you are unique and how God made you different from others. So that's a great one. And two, remember that social media is only a highlight of people's lives. You cannot compare yourself to something that you don't even know is true. Like people say, flexing for the gram, that's the thing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you guys next week.